Hello everyone, this is Gary Zimmerman back here today, and today I'm going to show you how to right quick build a small dueling coaster. Now to start, you open up your advanced, you switch your first segment to normal and make it about 5 whatever measurement that is long. Then if you want to do a launch, that's okay, I'm just doing a short little launch, um, putting it to 30. Maximum acceleration, just a simple little start here, so I don't have to do a hour-long video showing the actual process of creating a full-size coaster that duels. So here, I'm going to just do a little jaunt to the right, and then whatever the heck that is, I don't even know. I'm going to edit that because that looks weird. I'm just going to put a hill there so it stalls out. So... When you're building a launch coaster, you need to keep in mind that you need to have places where the train can slow down and speed up again. So when you're building the next loop around, you can time it correctly and speed that train up on that loop um, accordingly so it can duel with the other train. Um, as long as you have plenty of little hills and inversions, you're fine. Now getting two trains to duel on a flat track is another story because one will always win obviously but i'm uh here i'm just doing little camel backs right quick to you know keep the speeds fluctuating and i'm gonna do that little jaunt to the right and i'm gonna circle back around to do the next lap um usually you want to keep your circle um low or turn it into a helix of some type um i made it a little too low so i'm going to delete that and raise it up um because usually my style is to build the first loop into the second loop low and have the final break run over it i'm not sure if that's just something i do if that's like an actual tactic um but anyway this is the hard part right here when you're coming in for the second loops blk break and launch what you'll want to do is you'll want to get it level with the station and you'll want to end the normal track section at the station and build a BLK break as long as the station that is at set to 10 miles an hour as far as um, speed is and have really strong deceleration. And you set it just as long as the station and then after that, you remember I put that normal piece after the station when it starts, um, you're going to want to put a normal piece there. So when that train rolls off that BLK, it triggers the train in the station to roll off also. And that normal piece of track gives it a distance before the launch. So um, it, I call it a way of loosening the slack between the trains. So now that I've got that even, I'm going to put the launch here. Um, same speed. Usually, if you're having problems, you can increase, decrease the speed in acceleration, deceleration. But here, since the train rises up to the left, I'm going to rise this train up to the right and have it stall out. So by the time the other train gets to that low to the ground helix there, this train will be coming down and fly right past it. And since the other train is going relatively slow also, I'm going to stall the secondary loops train out also, so it'll, um, it'll gain speed again and head into that last camelback section. So I'm just going to stall it out right here real slow while the other train on loop 1 is circling around. And then I'm just going to bring it in nice and low do some little twisty stuff because this is a very sloppy ride but it, you know surprisingly it doesn't look too bad so far so now that i've got this i'm just going to start making this side do some bumps i'm going to keep it lower because it's going to be a little bit behind the train on the first loop because it did have that second stall there's little things like that that can make it not so perfect, but you have to focus more on the key elements of the coaster. Sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll all line up perfectly. The only time I've had that happen was the very first one I created, which I spent four hours on, and it got a lot of appreciation because it truly was good in my opinion. But anyway... I'm circling around and I'm going to build the final brake run. Make sure you place two BLK brakes separated by a piece of track and make sure they have strong deceleration because on a normal coaster I want to come into that brake run nice and fast to end it with a bang. So I've got two, I've got my three trains, now let's do some test runs.
the first run will be very bad so don't expect it to run like that after the first few trains cycle through you see they're launching uneven but as the test runs go on it actually runs better because of the it's really hard to explain because the app just runs better after the first train is Return to the first brake run or, or something. Actually, it's not running too bad right now, but it's not the right way it's supposed to run. That near miss element at the beginning after the launch didn't line up correct, and I have a feeling that once uh, uh, during the second test run, it's going to work correctly because it always does. Look at that. They dispatch together at the same speed. They launched, uh, they're a little, it's kind of weird, but it's a sloppy creation, it's just so. So they near miss, it stalls out, and then I'm glad I kept the right side low because it wouldn't have caught up to the, um, first loop at all. Um, it's not the most satisfactory creation, but it accurately shows how this whole process works. Um, so basically, as you can see, well, that seems to be everything. Uh, here's an on-ride POV of the whole thing. While you're watching the POV, I'm going to explain more about, um, uh, BLK Breaks. So BLK Breaks can lag out your game a lot because you can place up to four. And if you place four, actually, you can place as many as you want, but only four trains are allowed on the track maximum. Um, if you have a slower device, four trains will make your device cook. Literally, it'll become a, an oven. So, I wouldn't recommend that. If you have a fast device, it's fine, but it'll still... It, it requires a lot of RAM, so be prepared for that. Um, that's the one disadvantage to making these. You gotta have a fast device, or else it just... it's bad. So here's that near miss, but anyway, um, so I'm going to point out that you need to have a piece of any other type of track section between a BLK brake to make more than one train. You can't just connect a whole bunch of BLK brakes and have more trains. Um, you want to have them spread apart. Normally, if you make a mid-course brake run, they are spread apart, but that's that. But anyway, hope you